you guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, something I thought I'd add to the channel is a gear we use. Uh, we always, not so much ourselves personally, get asked about stuff we use, but YouTube seems to be the, the main go-to to try and find out information on products you're looking at buying, you know, how to set them up, how to use them, all that sort of stuff. So I thought I'd just add something. Um, we've probably got about eight to ten th major, major things we use when we do go camping and all all different styles of camping we do do and off-roading and touring and all the above so I thought I'd just uh, start off with the first one which will be our well, ours, which will be my crash pad swag and the Oz Trail stretcher now I've been running this setup uh, with the stretcher for about two years now and I've been running the crash pad swag for about four and a half years so bought the crash pad swag back in 2017 and I think I paid about $350 for it back then, so it's been pretty good, not going to lie. I uh, have used it quite a lot, especially the last couple of years. And the stretcher, uh, it's not the exact size for the swag. It's, the swag's probably just a little bit big for it. I think it's a 900 stretcher, so you just got that 50 either side, because the swag's about a 1,000 thousand width. So anyway, I'll show you about the swag as we go along. Uh, we'll get it out of the bag and uh, I'll show you it all set up and tell you what I think of it. Okay, so we'll start with the stretcher. Um, as you can see, it's not in a bag. The bag it come with was, you know, like it was vacuumed on there, so I found it very hard to get it back in the bag, wrapping all the material around to get it to fit, and the zipper was nearly nearly breaking every time you would uh, fit it. So that was a bit of a downfall, the bag size for the stretcher. Um, but I just have a stretch here around it, and it stakes together like that. And all the material around the outside of it it doesn't rub on nothing or none of the metal rubs on anything or rattles on the inside of the car so no issues with it there so it goes down like that dropping down so it's not one you really have to put together it just pretty well sets up on its own you get the legs out here like that and we're done get it down get it down and that's pretty sturdy okay so as you can see it's just got them cross support legs and that just stops it from sort of wonking too much it's just got a little bit of movement in there but when the weight's on the swag it's it's pretty good so I've seen a lot of them out there they just have the three cross cross legs and um they seem to wonk around a little bit too much so i actually sent one back a dachi one that i didn't like because because of that reason so anyway that's the basics of the of the Austrail uh, 900 stretcher so okay so here's the swag so as I said it's a crash pad uh, single swag not sure the models or the specs and the stuff but I will put that in the description so and a link to crash pad side if anyone wants to have a look and yeah so it comes with its own canvas bag which is really good uh, has, it's all zipped up and it has these flaps that go over the zip so it remains pretty waterproof I've had it on the roof of the vehicle on a few trips and through rain and stuff and yeah, no water's got in so it is, it is pretty waterproof, pretty happy with that anyway we'll find the zippers here get it unzipped and we'll show you the swag ok so it comes with a separate uh, PVC bag which has three poles and a couple of pegs. Okay, so these are just your quick snap together poles. Now these are the originals, haven't broken any. I have heard of people breaking them. Uh, I'll go pretty gentle on it, so that might be why I haven't broken any. People can be a bit rough when setting these things up, but you just got to make sure that your pole is curved in the half circle like that. So one either end, there's no differences. They're both the same because the swag's the same at both ends. So there's that one there. And on these older crash pads, they just have a locked together center pipe. Now I know with the later ones, a couple of my mates got one actually. He has a like a push and lock style one, which I think that would be better. So that has been a good upgrade 
So anyway, this does the job. So we'll start setting it up, and I'll show you. Okay, so these are the half curved poles. Most swags are like this, so you know there's nothing special to show here. Goes around on the other little knot. Show you to just do it like this. Get it in a half circle. Lock it in. Then just start snapping on, snapping on your clips. And of course, same at the other end. And of course, just the centre pole. It's not too hard to get in, you just got to give it a little bit of effort. Lock straight in, lock these little tabs on. And I've got a couple of pegs there. You can just tie the ends off and have a little shoot over there. but. Don't need to do that. As you can see, it does fit the stretcher. Not too bad, it's a little bit uh, big for it, but not by much, so it doesn't affect me while sleeping. So, anyway, I'll give you a quick look inside it and tell you a little bit more about it, and that'll probably do us. Okay, so it's just got this uh, midgy proof screen all the way around it, and either end, you can um, see through there, you can undo the ends there, have airflow through each way, which is good. This ends the same. Just do it from the inside and done. All right, so one of the things I changed on it uh, not too long into owning it was the mattress. Only because I had another good mattress at home out of previous swag, which I've used, which is a high density foam. So the original mattress was, was all right. Uh, being a heavier guy like me and a side sleeper, wasn't great when sleeping on the ground. And this one isn't that much better. It is, it's better, but it's not a hell of a lot better than the original. So they are pretty good, the original original mattresses they come with so no real complaints there I just changed it over because I had the mattress anyway so okay so yeah just a couple of pillows there and I do run a Coleman uh, sleeping bag that goes in there so that's pretty much my solo setup okay guys so there you have it it's uh, all set up it's pretty easy uh, I've done it so many times now there's just no dramas packing up's just the same pop them all out roll the swag up nothing special there get it back in the bag um, look, pros and cons. Uh, I'll run through the pros first because there's not many cons. I do like it. Uh, pros for it is it's just good quality. Um, even though it's an Australian made swag, I know Crash Bad's not Australian made, but it is an Australian company, I think. And just the quality of the canvas and stuff has been so so far good. It hasn't uh, no stitching's come apart, no the zippers are sort of broken or nothing like that. So I am happy with that side of it, considering how much I do use it. Again, I said before, I haven't snapped any of the poles. I do like that crash pads sell that sort of stuff separate. So you can, if you do, you know, happen to snap one or break one or whatever, or crack one, you can get get replacements for it. And uh, what else would be something good for it? It's just, just works for me. So, and as, again, with the stretcher, the stretcher as well, it just works for me. It's, um, there's probably a lot better stretches on the market out there now since this one, but it's just working for me, so I'm just going to keep running this setup for for a long time on uh, when I'm on my own. So uh, cons for it, uh, I'd probably only little thing. I think it just gets a little bit too like triangle. It's not bulgy because it's got nothing in the middle here, maybe. So I do notice that a little bit when I am in there. You know, you're turning over and stuff like that. But other than that, I can't really pick too much wrong with it. Other than it's uh, yeah, it's just a good product. So. Okay guys, that's, uh, that concludes our first one of uh, gear we use, so any questions, obviously just comment below, um, send us a personal message on our socials if you want to know anything, and yeah, I'll put a few links in the, in the description and, and tell you all about it, uh, to Crashpad and to, to Austrail, you can get on there and have a look if you're interested in them, uh, but anyway, hope you enjoyed that one and hope you got a bit of something out of that, so we'll see you on the next uh, gear to use, cheers guys. Okay, now that's filmed. Time to have a lay down, eh?